Mauna Kea, Hawaii. In 1988, Professor David Jewett of the University of Hawaii's Institute for Astronomy begins a dedicated hunt for another object beyond Neptune. Despite harnessing the latest digital technology, the task of looking for a tiny asteroid-sized object at the far reaches of the solar system is a daunting one. A bit like finding a grain of rice on a mountainside, as Jewett demonstrates. To give you an idea for the scale of the Kuiper Belt relative to the orbits of the planets, uh, I've laid out the solar system using various kinds of uh, fruit and vegetables. So we have a ball to represent the sun. Next to the sun, uh, which is the center of the solar system, we have uh, the rocky planets. So we have to go out to five astronomical units, five AUs, to find Jupiter, the biggest thing in the solar system except for the sun. And then we go out from Jupiter is Saturn, located at 10 AU. Out from Saturn is Uranus at 20 AU. Uranus is the first of the ice giant planets, and Uranus has a near twin. It's called Neptune. Neptune is over here uh, at 30 AU. And then just beyond uh, Neptune comes uh, the famous Pluto, represented here by a tasty macadamia nut. And Pluto uh, moves in and out from the sun, but it's roughly located at 39 AU. So we'll put that back where we find it. Kuiper Belt starts roughly at the orbit of Neptune and goes out to larger distances. So we can represent that by grains of rice from this bag, which I'll drop on the ground. These are Kuiper Belt objects falling in space, and here they go. But in fact, they go very far out. They go uh, out in this direction, and in fact, it goes out so far that I can't throw it far enough. It goes out to the hill in the distance, far beyond me. But in 1988, all this is speculation. It's just a theory. There's no hard evidence of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. Dave Jewett continues believing. There have to be more Kuiper Belt objects out there, somewhere. For four years, he toils in the thin air of Mauna Kea's high-altitude observatories. He has no idea how big or bright any of the objects might be. Then in late November 1992, he and his colleague Jane Liu spot a faint moving dot in the sky. It was a, a very, very definite object, far above the noise, far above the, the threshold of uncertainty. We're completely sure that we found the first really slow-moving thing in the solar system uh, since Pluto. And it's small, just 140 miles across. Its diameter is just a tenth of Pluto's. If we were able to find one body in a tenth of a percent of the sky, which was the case, uh, then we knew there must be something like a thousand times more objects than we'd found. Jewett's discovery has astounding implications. Now astronomers know there are potentially thousands of icy bodies, escapees from early planetary formation, orbiting out beyond Neptune. And Pluto is just one of many. Perhaps Pluto is not a planet after all.